Uh, it's a 53-year-old patient who underwent a liver transplantation in March uh, 2017 uh, for cirrhosis. In her follow-up, the last follow-up in May uh, 2019, the patient uh, was asymptomatic, but uh, at the lab test, uh, which, uh, the lab test revealed a cholestasis uh, with uh, normal bilirubin and normal liver function test. There was no CRP level. The MRI show uh, um, biliary uh, anastomotic stricter with uh, upstream uh, uh, intrahepatic bile duct uh, dilation and uh, intraductal material above uh, the stricter. So the patient is scheduled today for an ERCP with a strong extraction and uh, biliary stenting. And we could already identify the papilla, which is obviously quite small. Um, so for cannulation, I'm using the Omnitone from, uh, from Cook and uh, it's preloaded uh, with uh, uh, O25 guide wire. So it's obviously inside. No? No, the, the orifice. Just an Maybe, maybe, maybe there two, are two, two orifices. Two different, two different, different orifices. Orifices. Yes. Looks yes. below, right? So, so normally that's the biliary. Normally. Uh, yeah, I know what you mean, but I'm also, I think, let me see. There do, are, do you think like there, there are two, there two different two orifices? Two different orifices, huh? Two yeah. different, huh? Yes. So then... It's, it's not so usual. No, it's very uncommon. No, I think it's more common in India to have di two different orifices. No, no, okay. no, no. Very unusual. Okay. This should be, and as you can see, I very smoothly pushed it in this direction floor, and uh, we are obviously in the bile duct. So always before you start your cannulation, have a good view of the side of the papilla because here we have really two different orifices. So, so the gadwa is making a loop just below the stricture? Yes. Now I, ch I change. Um, we can bend the sphincterotome. This is the advantage. We bend the sphincterotome a little bit to change the position, maybe from here. No, it makes a loop. I go back. So, host, would it help to have a balloon at this stage? Yes. Maybe, but uh, firstly, we try a little bit more. Maybe we should inject a little bit contrast again to see. We, we saw a there small a clip, passage. There is obviously of there is a metal clip. Yeah. Okay, inject a little bit contrast. There is no flow of contrast at all at this stage. Yeah, we could, if we fail with this technique, uh, we could do a sphincterotomy and then using a balloon. A balloon to, to straighten, to straighten the, the duct. duct. This mm -hmm. would be an option. Yeah. Mm. Because this can then be the remnant of the cystic yeah, duct. Okay, yeah. ah, yeah, now mm. we see it. Maybe you are in the cystic duct. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I go. Ah, in this fact, is you, you, you see the anatomy much better. Yeah, no, yes, no. Yes, yes, yes. yeah, now it's okay. Yes, okay. Ah. Yeah, okay. Mm. Very nice. So, perfect. So, the next step is so, this is important to rotate either the x ray to have another plane or, or the patient, what we did. So, we keep the wire in this position. The next step is that we proceed to sphincterotomy. Um, and I'm using the Irby machine and uh, setting I, endocut I, uh, and I selected uh, one, three, three. So we have not so much coagulation. Okay. So, um, and as you can see now, I have only one, less than one third of the cutting wire inside the papilla. When we see the greenish ring and we are in a good direction, and I don't touch the catheter, but I just manipulate the shaft 
of the endoscope. This is like the handle of a scalpel of a surgeon. And you see I have a very good control, some tension on the roof, pulling the endoscope a little bit. And then we cut in the 11 o'clock direction. Mm -hmm. So the next step is that we do balloon dilatation. Okay. And... Uh, so here, plastic stents. Yeah, and we will also sweep the ducts yes, with a balloon stones, because yeah. there may be some small mm. stones or casts. Okay, and Leila tells me the pressure. Looks like a very soft structure. No, no waste, no? Huh? Oh, it's no, no waste, mm. no? Okay. okay. Mm. So it's 12, okay. 12 atmospheres, so it's fully dilated. Okay, we can deflate. Okay, so we leave the wire in place. We go up again to the hilum. Suck, okay, inflate. Very uh, dilated, yeah, both sides. But I can easily pull the balloon through. Let me see. And what size is this balloon? 15. 15 Up to 15. Okay. 15. okay. This can be gradually expanded to 15. And it's a very short structure, horse. You can see it now. Mm. Very short. Yeah, it's a short, uh, short. Um, so a metal, a fully covered metal sand would be an option because yeah. there is just a two centimeter distance. Yeah. But I think um, it was discussed with the patient that he will receive plastic stents. Huh? Okay. So you plan to put in two plastics or? Yes. Two. Yes. Three. Yes. Two. Okay, so we keep the wire in place. We deflate the balloon. There is no more debris obviously inside. Okay, deflate. Still the bluish color. Okay, this is the mm, yeah. end. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, yeah, now... An injection, an injection. Yeah, we can, yeah, we can inject to see.